This thing can power my Starlink Mini for 30 hours without charge. But how do you set it up? Or what other alternatives do you have? Let's break it down right in this video. You're welcome to AY Excellent Tech. And on this channel, we break down tech. We'll make it as simple as possible. My name is AY Excellent, and I'm glad to have you here again today. Now, if you've been following our discourse on the Starlink, someone asked that we should do a video on power alternatives for Starlink. Now, in my house, I actually run um, a 247, let me call it 24 volt, 3.2 kVA inverter system. And then this lasts me for about 18 hours because every time at night, when I'm about to use power heavily, I actually do turn on my generator and at times they bring light so I decided that uh, most times when my inverter system is going off I don't want a situation whereby the Starlink also goes off so for example if I get a system that can power my Starlink for the few moments that my main inverter in the house goes off then I will be able to have some time to do other things, not to run into turn on the generator. So I was thinking, so I thought about this, this guy right here. So what I actually did was that I got um, a 1000 watt, 12 volt inverter. This is an inverter. We call it Sachet inverter in Nigeria. This is it, Sachet inverter. So that's what it does. So it converts your um, DC to AC power so this is a portable one that you can actually get 1000 watt there are some that are 600 watt there are some that are mean 500 watt but I think 1000 watt is actually fine for you I'll be telling you how much I got all this at the end and so I also got this this battery right here I got this battery um, it is in fact it was at the point of shooting this video that I realized that it is actually 130 ampere Hour. so but let's take it as 100 age because I told them in the market that I need 100 age and they gave me 130 age let's go right in and go set up the inverter system to power the Starlink this is what will actually power the uh, the so um, the Starlink this is this so um, you'll be wondering why I have this now I've had this for a long time at home and um, is a transformer inverter so it does the same work only that this one is 1000 watt this is 1100 va so it's um, an hybrid inverter it can charge with solar and at the same time you can charge it with electricity so what i'll be doing in this connection is that i will use this as my output I will use this as a charger there is a variant of this that usually come with a charger like you can charge it from the this thing so we will use this just as an output the reason for this connection is so that this transformer the transformer inside this will not be sapping energy from the battery so what it will only do is just to charge it so we will not turn it on at all we won't turn it on this is what we will turn on. So we will go right into the connection. We have connected it to the battery so but it's, it's just showing that there is um energy or power into it there's power inside the battery so we can even check we'll be able to check now i just turned it on just for us to see but with this way now you can get ac power i mean electricity but we are going to be turning it off because we are not going to use the bat this battery on this inverter so we turn this off so it will only serve as a charger for us so i will connect this to power source 
I'll connect this to power source. Sometimes later we'll get um, what's it called? A plug that will work for this. So let me let me cut this off so that uh, I can have just these two. So that one will go to um, electricity. So this one is what we'll be using to power the um, stand. This is so that it won't it won't be moving about. So this way to so stay in one position. So I'm not a trained electrician, but I can do one or two. So some people say they connect positive first, some negative first. So but I think I prefer to go with positive, um, negative first and positive later. So we turn this on. This is working now. I've turned it on. Um, can we get something we can charge or plug? What I'll just do later is to get um, what's it called? An extension box so that will connect out. But since it's just one thing, I'm plugging. So let's test. So as you can see, this is an AC um, current receptor or adapter. So I'll plug it into my lights and boom, we have light. So this is what will power my Starlink for the meantime. So we will plug this. Now, from here, you'll see that the battery is stagnant and um, nothing is moving. What will happen is that we will plug, when we plug this to electricity, which of course we have, let me remove this and, um, so that we can plug that. I have a socket here that is connected to, not this one is not connected to solar. This is connected to Nepal light or generator. So all we just need to do is because I don't want to go the route of using um, another solar panel, mounting it on the roof and all that. So I will just use this as my charger. So anytime I'm turning on the gen, this will work. So this will serve as a turn off and then plug, plug this. I know some people will say it's not safe. Yes, we will find, we will use a safer one later. So as you can see, the moment I turned it on, it has started charging. So automatically now, if you move close, you will see that the light is coming in, mains on, this is showing mains on, then power is coming in into the battery, into the battery, into the battery, into the battery. So I can load this guy, but I don't need to put any load because I don't want the transformer inside to be taken from my deep cycle gel battery. So that is how it's going to work. And that's how we'll be using the system. I'm going to rearrange this place so that everything just sits perfectly. I've done the arrangement I want to do. So this stays here like this, just for me to, to actually monitor whatever is going on. This system will not go off at any time. The moment it is plugged, this is my Starlink charger. Do I call it a charger? Adapter. So we just plug this here right and then we turn on so let's hope that uh, starlink will come up in the next few minutes of course that's not come up. come up it does not have option so that's 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 for the under set so welcome back now how long will this actually power my starlink let's look at it together so we have agreed that the battery let's term it 100 h now on nominal capacity we have 12 volt 100 h and um, this is also 12 volt 1000 watts so now we look at it from this angle we multiply 1000 uh we'll multiply 12 volt by 100 h that will give us 1200 watt hour so 1200 watt hour that's the capacity of the battery we have with us so the usable energy is is we will lose about 15 percent so that's um, about 85% usable. So we multiply 1,200 watt hour by 0 0.85, which is going to give us about 1,020 watt hour. 1,020 watt hour. So that's what you can use realistically in real life circumstances. So now let's look at Starlink mini power consumption. I'm going to relate it also with the Starlink standard for those of us who use Starlink standard. Now, average use power, 30 watt it can drop to 20 watt and it can peak at 40 watts that's if you are cleaning snow or you are you are eating it up so that snow can melt off but we don't have snow in nigeria but for those who have snow maybe 40 watt so we are going to stick with the middle 30 watt usage for 24 hours now let's calculate how many hours will it take us 1020 watt divide by 30 watt is going to give us the hours 1020 watt hour divided by 30 watt is going to give us the number of hours that we will use to i mean that start this system will power starlink so with that calculation we have 34 hours it's going to give us 34 hours so my verdict so with starlink mini your 100 ah battery can power it for about 30 to 34 hours straight so there will be no running because normally when i'm streaming online and i'm streaming to youtube and my inverter starts shouting ping 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 the next thing is that i'm running to where 
the battery the the generator is and i want to go and power power on the generator but this time around with this i don't need to run anymore because this guy will never shout the only thing i'm plugging on it is my starlink that's the only thing i'm plugging on it no other extension is connected to it but maybe in the long run when i see that it's holding up a lot i can put other load but for now it will power my starlink for 30 to 34 hours now let's look at uh, starlink standard my 100 ah battery will last for about 16 to 18 hours starlink standard it will not go off 16 to 18 hours we are sure of your starlink is working perfectly fine let's compare this with what we have in the market the blue ET and the echo flow i know many of you have heard about the blue ET or the echo flow these guys are real powerhouse and they can actually serve you when the least options you have that can back up your Starlink on the portable power options available out there is the Bluetti EB3A. It is sold for 385k and the EcoFlow River 3 Plus, which is sold for 345,000 naira. I actually went to their website to check this, but um, the Bluetti I saw it on um, Konga and Jumia. Now, Bluetti 3 EB3A is as a capacity of 268 watt hour with an output of 600 watt which is not even up to 1000 watts that have that i have here of course your starlink will not even use 600 watt so let's cap it at let's leave it at 600 watt it's fine it is sold for 385,000 error so let's calculate based on usage for starlink mini now take note that only 85 percent power is usable due to energy loss that you should always take into consideration the starlink mini 30 watt 228 divide by 30 the bluetti eb3a with power starlink mini for 7.6 hours and it sold for 385,000 era it will power starlink standard for 3.8 hours the ecoflow river 3 plus comes with 600 watt hour the usable capacity is about um, 510 watt hour so it's going to power the starlink mini for 24.3 hours going to power starlink if starlink is the only thing you're putting on it it will power it for 24.3 hours it will power the starlink standard for 12 hours the pro for my setup it is way cheaper than most power stations it is easily swappable the battery you can swap it at any time it is perfect for indoor setup with no need to move now the key cons here the fan noise of this guy is annoying especially me that i have to put it under my table of course i'm thinking of how to relocate it no portability that's another thing i only dismantle this so that you can see it there's no portability because the battery is damn heavy now it will need basic wiring knowledge of course just like i've shown you that's all you need no built-in display for battery status but I have solved that with my hybrid inverter that is charging the system. So I worry less about whether there is a built-in display. In fact, I've already calculated and I know how many hours it's going to spend. So I care less. And this guy will always blink if the power is going off. So now, how much does it cost for my setup? I know you have been waiting for that. I know you have actually been waiting for that. Now, if you have watched thus far, you are my G please subscribe to this channel help me to get to 2k subscribers in fact we have not even gotten to 1k i'm begging for 2k please subscribe 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 tell your family members to come and subscribe support me thank you very much now here is it here is how much my current setup actually costs the 130ah battery costs 145,000 naira. my satchet inverter the 1000 watts costs 35 thousand naira so we got a total of 180 thousand naira you can see the difference between my diy and the ready-made in the market did you see the difference so i'm asking which will you go for budget under 200k you do a diy do it yourself it's effective noisy and manual just keep the inverter away from your mic if you are filming but of course that's not a problem for me do you need something portable or modern you can get the bluetti eb3a or echo flow river 3 plus this video is not sponsored i'm just showing you what you can use they are more expensive but you get quiet operation real-time battery monitoring and peace of mind yes 
for a few hours. But this one gives me the greater peace of mind. The real peace of mind. If you want to power more than Starlink or just Starlink for more hours, if you are an Odogu, you can consider the Bluetti EB55 or EcoFlow Data 2. Those ones will do well. They will cost more, but they run fans, lights, laptops, and even TVs. Of course, you know that I'm just using this as a backup for my Starlink. So it's going to power my Starlink. My Starlink is just going to be shielding on it for as long as it wants to chill. That is how it works. Now, I hope this will help you to pick the right backup solution for your home or office. Let me know which you prefer for your setup. Now, do you have any question? Please drop them in the comment section. And don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe if this video has helped you. I'll see you on the next time on AY Excellent Tech, where we turn problems into portable solutions. Thank you very much. I'll see you again in my next video. Catch ya. Please subscribe before you go. Thank you.